So today, we're going to show you how to set up a Medusa dripper system. They're basically the same as Medusa run to waste systems, but they also tackle feeding at the same time. We've already got a video which shows you how to assemble a run to waste, which is linked below. And once you've been through that, you can use this guide to find out how to add dripper functionality. Start off by pushing the threaded tank connector through the hole at the top of the flexi tank, making sure that the rubber washer is on the inside and secure it in place with the nut. Then add swivel elbows to each end of the tank connector. Connect a length of pipe to the internal swivel elbow and cut it so that it reaches the bottom. You can then attach the feed pump to the end. The next component is one of the most vital aspects of the system and that's the anti-siphon valve which prevents flooding once the feed timer is shut off. Fit it inside the length of pipe that you've just connected up ensuring that it sits above the water line. As you can see it's connected using a T-piece and a small length of pipe. Set the segmental timer to trigger your feed times then plug the Imperium timer into it which will allow you to choose your feed durations. Fit a length of pipe to the swivel elbow on the outside of the tank cut it at the point where it reaches the floor and add an elbow to create a 90 degree bend. Attach another length of pipe to the elbow on the floor and run it down the central channel that sits between the two rows of trays. Next you need to connect the manifold to the female threaded teepees. Each manifold has eight outlets allowing it to feed up to four plants with two drippers for each pot. Now this system's a four pot so we'll only need one manifold, but for larger systems you'd install one for each set of four trays. Once you've fitted them, you can block off the end of the pipe with an end stop. For more information, check out our website or come and see us in store.